I think that's a, a a big thing of where you find, or at least I've seen, is that idea of like spirituality. A lot of people connect that to religion, where I feel like that's so much of authenticity, purpose, your consciousness, like your why is is that connection. If you don't have that, you're going to flutter around. There's no way you could be like a bold person if you don't know your purpose in life. You're well, kind of jumping around, right? Isn't that something to know your why to be an authentic person and not try and follow the crowd? I think that being a bold, I think being bold helps you figure out what your why is. Mm. That's what I believe. I think if you don't have a why or you don't know your why yet, the only way to get to that answer is to be bold. And that means, you know, going after and chasing the chasing what you want and not just taking what you get. And so we tend to live our lives, most most people in this place of good enough, you know, like, oh, she's pretty enough and nice enough. I'll marry her or him. You know, yeah. I'll date him. Oh, that job, it, 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 it's okay. It, it's, it's good enough. I'll just work there for 30, 40 years of my life. It's fine to pay the bills. And we, we don't, we, we don't actually, like I said, chase what those things are that we are interested in, curious about, you know, may, you know, because we think we're not good enough. We think we, we basically, it's our own self-doubt. We think we're not, we don't have the talent because we've never done it before. That means we can't do it now. You know, that, that, you know, we are, we just, we kind of just kind of go through whatever comes our way, what's available. So we acquiesce as opposed to being like, you know what, if what's the worst that can happen? You know, I try X and it doesn't work. Okay. So I'm no worse off today than I was after, before trying. Right. And the other thing we do is we tend to look at other people and feel like they, oh, like it could only happen to them, but that them is actually you. And the only difference between the two is that like they had a little bit more self-belief to actually try and fail and keep on going and like getting back up and doing it again and again. So, and I believe me, and, I, and I've seen this time and time again, even with my podcast. I mean, my podcast is basically a podcast full of the most exceptional people on the planet and what their habits are and like the best experts on the, in the world. And when I, I've met everybody under the sun by, by this point. And honestly, when I meet them in person, I'm not like, it's not like I'm so impressed by this one or that one. Like I am impressed because they had the resilience and the fortitude to keep on trying. But like my, what the through line with all of them is that that's, that's the thing that made that was impressive is that they just kept on attempting and attempting and not just taking no for an answer or not putting themselves in a box because they didn't think they were good enough. Like the truth of the matter is, even when you do have self-doubt, even when you don't think you're good enough, you do it anyway. And the only way, right? The only way to like get to be, get the confidence is to do something over and over again. And that's how you get better. And that's how you learn. So that to me is like how you actually get to your why or to your goal is to be bold and try things even when you don't know something, ask for something, be much more you know, specific and attempt.